Hello, this is Anthony Zorski for uh, another lesson on Charisma. So I will speak about um, scenario training and rescue team training. So um, in, the in the first part, I will speak about rescue team training globally in uh, our group. We will see how to make exercise and preparation for it, such as scenarios. The objectives of the preparation uh, presentation is for you to be able to understand the importance of different phases uh, of the theoretical, uh, the creation of the document and the real life applications and how to do training later in your career. For that, let's override the presentation. I will speak about, um, I will tell you about uh, the role, the roles, um, the importance, benefits, and impact of the trainings. The full uh, element of rescue team training and an example of exercise. And lastly, how to create exercise. So understanding the importance of rescue team training. You must understand uh, this important, this importance. Uh, I speak about training for cultural institutions, but first uh, one word on firemen, firefighter in France are trained for all situations and all buildings. They aren't ready to evacuate fragile collections. So we must always include firemen in our training program. They need to know why, the, why they're fighting and how risk and loss Firemen are always happy to learn more and gain new skills during intervention. We aren't a priori priority, so we must be ready when we become a priority for us, for them. So let's get back to the main subject, roles. Uh, of a rescue team and emergency situation. What is the role of the rescue team in emergency situations in the GASP? In our institution, we came to help people and save a collection. We are here to support the museum touch by, um, by a disaster. We are here during and after the crisis, not like firemen. So we need to be trained and ready to every eventuality. For a cultural institu institution, it is uh, necessary to train every person in the museum and every role possible. With, uh, with that, you can adapt more easily if uh, someone important is in holiday. So the important, the training is very important and have a massive impact of uh, effectiveness of the team during a crisis. It is it uh, reduces stress, stress, increase adaptability, autonomy, and speed in global organization. If you have one person in charge directly during a crisis, this is seventy percent uh, more efficient. So um, the goal is that everyone can take the lead. Uh, the leading role and speak to firemen about the collection to be saved 
and all savings uh, list collection. You have less hesitation with the training, so, uh, save, save time during intervention, and each minute you save made a huge, huge difference on save saving collection. People who aren't trained uh, doing treatment on collections or transplanting collections make normal mistake, but uh, they, those mistakes can lead to temporal damages. The, the aim of the training is make every team member operational. You have a choice uh, of team member or selection. For us, GASP, you need to have a big area of expertise. We have an expert on museum, conservation, paper, pictures, fire, archive, and libraries. But in a cultural institution, you need everyone on board, but you need an expert and a person who can take responsibility in crisis. And that kind of person can be everyone because the curator can be an expert, but can lose his mind or lost his temper during crisis. So there are many skills. And a main skill is to be able to deal with stress. You need to have different skill in your team. Firefighters are here to access and, and get them here, in, keep people safe, uh, and to help to evacuate the collection, um, but not organize uh, everything without you. You can see a picture in Le Louvre uh, of a meeting with firemen, creators, and helpers. Um, you can focus some skills. Uh, basic skills of communication or coordination to uh, skill of manipulation and restoration, first aid on collection. The important thing is to update and upgrade your uh, team during months and years and refresh the skill daily. Rescue, um, rescue team preparedness exercise uh, to prepare the team you need to focus on a type of exercise to acquire the skill you want acquire the skill you want the exercise on uh, field uh, simulate realistic emergency situations with real people equipment and resources participants are physically present as, uh, at the exercise site. They use real facilities, equipment, vehicle, and actual infra infrastructure, uh, and sometimes actors playing specific roles to stipulate a response to an emergency situation, such, such as uh, thieves and uh, serious injuries. They aim as uh, they the aim is to put um, skill into practice, test operational procedures, eva evaluate uh, the team responsiveness, and improve coordination in the real conditions. You must have objectives to improve team cooperation, uh, evacuate, evaluate a difficult, uh, evacuate a difficult uh, collection test any imperfection of your emergency plans. So we made exercise, like fire in a cathedral, or flood in a museum or reserve. And you have different steps. So step one is to define uh, exercise objectives. We all already discussed about that, but you need to choose as an exercise size 
all sides are interesting to emphasize a specific point of the team training or the localization is very important. Lead to step two is uh, designing the scenario. Scenarios are essentially by, based on real events or a specific potential threat to the region or your building. They may include fire, industrial uh, accident. This, uh, this type of exercise um, can't have uh, anti-terrorist exercise. But a possible scenario is very recommended. The most common exercise are fire or water, and you can add a steer during uh, the intervention. The fire and the water can start in the weak point uh, of the building during the night or closing time. Surprising event for all and reference vulnerability. The fire can touch the whole building or just one room to uh, test or to test a big um, organization. You can add some realistic details, like no one know where is the emergency plans or the keys to the doors, or just one victim in the uh, building during the evacuation. So the, the step three is select participants, firemen, um, or many of your team, or all, police, if you have a thief, outside helpers like GASP, or other professional uh, of other museum, observators, journalists, mayor, or curious people. The step four is uh, prepare the necessary resources. So you need to prepare logistics for the collections. Do you use fake or real collection? You need protective equipment for personal, communication equipment, plans, and a lot of coffee. You will do briefings, planification, and times phase for the exercise. Step five is just do it because everything will be okay and you will have uh, failures. And it is okay because this is the aim of the exercise. You will upgrade all this after uh, with feedback. And six, it is uh, evaluation and feedbacks. Observers are here for that. You will be busy and as in all work, you will forget details and information. So pictures and videos and notes are here to protect you, your memories in this day. In this kind of work, you will have meeting to talk uh, about feedback and evaluation of exercise and also for communication. For finish, um, you need to know uh, measuring the efficaciousness of uh, the train and exercise with uh, all the data, data and evaluation. You need to review and adjust the training program with those uh, results. To conclude, um, yes. Exercises are the result of all the work did during training and preparation. A point that you can't skip, all the theoretical work uh, become real operation. So this lesson is finished. Uh, I will uh, wish you the best. And you can contact me if you want and if you have some question. Um, bye and see you soon in the other Charisma lessons. Thank you all.